In today's society, it is very easy for a person in a domestic abuse relationship to be able to leave, thanks to friends and family and law enforcement to help them aid through the process of leaving a alcoholic or drug addicted spouse. In the 1800s, however, it was very hard for a woman or even a man to be able to do this because in many families, it was almost sacrilegious to have a divorce. In Anne Bronte's second novel, The Tenant at Wildfell Hall, we follow the character of Helen Huntingdon as she moves to a new city after supposedly leaving her alcoholic husband. However, that is not necessarily brought up at the very beginning of the story, as there is a lot of mystery around her. And our main character, Gilbert Markham, who is infatuated with Helen, tries to figure out what exactly it is about her that is so mysterious, and why exactly she has come to the city that they live in. Overall, The Tenant at Wildfell Hall was an amazing story to me. I cannot even begin to explain how fantastic it was, for the sole reason that Anne Bronte was essentially centuries ahead of her time. Back in the 1800s, this novel, when this novel was published, it was considered a travesty. Her older sister Charlotte actually considered it to be essentially trash because back then, not many people would have the guts to leave their spouses if they were abusive or alcoholic or were addicted to some kind of drug because religions back then did not approve of that and the catholic religion to my knowledge still does not approve of divorce the fact that Anne bronte was able to talk about a woman who has an alcoholic husband and has left him was incredibly ahead of her time and i commend her so much for being able to write something so serious back in those times where she could have been condemned and possibly even exiled from her own home again just like with agnes gray the language is much older however i feel as if that this novel is much easier to understand than agnes gray was now perhaps that is because this is her second novel, whereas Agnes Grey was her very first novel that she published. And so maybe because of that, her writing style had much more matured and had been able to be solidified a lot more. I'm not really sure exactly why it seemed like it was a lot easier to understand in personally, but comparing the two based on the written language and the way that things were explained seemed a little bit more understandable for some reason to me and I have read quite a few pieces of classic literature myself. The overall storyline was absolutely wonderful. There wasn't really any point that I had questions about something and if I did it would be later explained at another time. And what's interesting about this story is that it actually starts out from Gilbert's perspective when he meets Helen after she has moved to their city and then he develops a friendship with her and a possible relationship but Really before she could even attempt to have a relationship with him, she said that he had to understand who she was and where she came from. So in order for him to understand her, she gave him her diary. The overall storyline I felt was so interesting because the idea of starting in one place and then essentially backtracking is very, very difficult to do in my mind. It has to be done a certain way, and I feel like Anne Bronte did a wonderful job with it because the reader was able to understand this, the rest of this novel or large section of the novel was from her diary and was not from Gilbert's perspective. There was a very clear, very snappy transition between Gilbert and Helen's narrating, and it made it much easier to understand. What I feel like a lot of more contemporary authors do when they try to do this is there is no distinction between the narrators and that makes it a lot harder when you're trying to backtrack from a different character's perspective. There's no transition, there is no kind of lead up to it, it is just final, it is instant and you are very confused until somebody tells you who this person is that you're following. Overall, The Tenant at Wildfell Hall was probably my favorite out of the two Anne Bronte books. I really loved Agnes Grey. I thought it was a wonderful, wonderful story, especially for those of us who are in education or in some form of, you know, uh, caretaking kind of scenario. But I feel like this novel speaks so many volumes to those of us in this in society who have been in domestic abuse relationships this novel was incredibly ahead of its time and i am so glad that there was something about this kind of problem that is in society today because it would be blasphemy almost to talk about something like this and the idea of leaving a husband back then was essentially sacrilegious. So the fact that Anne was brave enough to bring out these things in society and say, you know what, it's not the, it is not 
bad for you to leave a situation that you are uncomfortable, you are miserable in, is tremendous. And today it is more accepted in society for us, for women and men to leave abusive relationships. But we can take so much, I feel, from this novel. Because now we understand that somebody else back then understood that it was wrong. And I don't think that we really understand that people back then thought about it. You know, we think that people back then only thought about, you know, keeping the marriage together and raising the house and getting the kids to be married and making them money. But in reality, somebody, maybe not only Anne, thought about the perils of some relationships that were focused only on money. So overall, as you guys can tell, I'm thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this novel and it is probably one of my favorites so far that I have read over the course of this entire book review experience on YouTube just because the fact that it's so old but it trans it's a talks about a topic that can transcend across centuries to so many different people that have experienced this and that have been afraid to talk about this experience. I would say that those of you who have either been in domestic abuse situations or are even social workers looking to understand more about the psyche of a person that is in a domestic abuse relationship, pick up this book. Because even though it is very heart-wrenching at some points to see Helen go through this agonizing relationship, it is not only relatable to those of you who have been in the situation, but it makes it easier to understand the psyche of a person that has been in this position and is trying to recuperate and reshape their life after getting out of that situation. So on a lighter note, the next book I'm going to be reading is actually a not well-known novel. It is called House of 13 and this is by Andy Lockwood. Now, I'm going to be honest, this is not a book that is mass produced. This was a book that was I believe published on Amazon, I believe. This is actually a novel that my cousin Lori, Lori's friend, had written and had published. It's a very small time published piece and I'm very excited. Uh, he actually autographed the front page for me and all I really know about this is that it's very fantasy filled. I'm so excited to read this because this is from a not well-known author and I hope that you know, with this book review, maybe it will get more of you to read it if I like it. Even if I don't like it, at least it'll get you guys to pick it up or check it out. Uh, I don't know if it's actually on Amazon anymore. I think that's what my cousin said it was on, that it was published by. But the fact that I was even able to get an arc of this novel is absolutely astounding. And I'm entirely grateful because my cousin knew I loved reading and I loved fantasy and all that. So she recommended this to me. And the fact that it's from a friend of hers is even more amazing so that when he gets big I can say you know I was one of the first people to read it and review it and tell him what I thought of it so yeah but stay tuned for that because this is gonna be an interesting interesting novel but thank you guys so much for joining me in this book review of The Tenant at Wildfell Hall by Ann Bronte. If you guys enjoyed it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owlet in our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys!